Hello everyone, once again this is Joram doing the LVOI walkthrough of how to set it up. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to go into the general settings. That'll be where we're going to do this whole video. Um, now basically um, one of the nice things about LVOI is it actually does sort of replace quite a few other add-ons. And what, three of them that are sort of right up on the top here is there's the announce interrupts. It's set to default, but what it does is basically it, uh, it lets your party raid or people around you know whenever you've interrupted someone. It's uh, pretty useful. I like to set it to raid because that's usually what I'm doing when I log in. Uh, party's good also if you do a lot of instancing uh, or uh, also for PvP. Um, if you have a party that actually sticks together, it's good to have, but I'm going to go ahead and set that for raid. Uh, the next one is auto repair and this right here it will set to guild, none, or player. It's defaulted at none, but I usually set it to player unless you have one of those nice guilds that gives you lots of money to repair your gear. Uh, next up is the experience rep or uh, I'm sorry, experience or reputation position and that's this right here. Uh, this right here is your experience bar. Uh, let me go ahead and add on a um, and I'll just track Stormwind real quick. So now when you look up here, there's actually two bars. The one's your experience, the one's your reputation. It's a nice little setup there. Uh, so what we can do is we can actually move that uh, to below the minimap, and now it's going to show up here. Um, it's, you know, I, I, I like it here. It looks really good over here. Um, if you have other add-ons that you like to put there, then of course, you know, it doesn't work as well, but it is very nice to just set right there. Um, now this also has, um, uh, there's an add-on called uh, Bagnon, and this right here sort of does the same thing. It has an all-in-one bag. So right now this character of course only has the one bag, he's brand new, but if I had multiple then it would be, it would just stack up. Uh, if you turn this off, what will happen is the bags will show up in order on this setup. So it'll be the first bag, and then it'll be the second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. Um, so I always like to go ahead and leave that on just because the all-in-one works much nicer. It's a lot cleaner. Uh, the loot frame is whenever you kill something and you open it up or you go into a chest or whatever you do, that loot frame is that little screen that pops up that you can loot stuff. Um, so if you disable this, then what's going to happen is basically you're going to need to make it so that you have auto loot turned on. And then you'll just, you know, when you go to loot uh, the whatever you're looting, then uh, it'll just automatically get it, the screen won't come up. Uh, it's useful if you're farming, but uh, for general use I do like to leave it on. Uh, next up is the loot roll, and that's that loot roll frame that I showed you that was, here, I'll go ahead and show you the toggle anchors, that's this guy right here. If we turn this off, what will happen, well I'd have to reload the UI, but what would happen is basically that screen would go away completely and LVUI would automatically say that you pass. So we want to leave that on, that's important. Uh, next up is the auto scale. Now you'll notice that scale is turned off. That's because what's happening right now is LVUI is sort of looking at my settings and saying, you know what, this is about where you should be, you should be around 71. And I'm pretty sure this is actually a default setting. So let me go ahead and turn this off just to show you what this looks like. We'll get the loading screen, and this should go away in just a couple seconds here. Alright, so what happens is you're going to notice that a lot of my action bars have sort of skewed around, they're moved. The reason for this is because the scale is now sort of random, it's not uh, being told where to put things. If I bring this all the way down to 64, which is good for some people's settings who really do a lot with LVUI, this, this is actually a pretty good setting area because you can change your font sizes and things like that and you can make some things much smaller but you'll notice that there's a lot more space between these. This is all the way over here just because it's uh, basically basing it off of the original frame which started up here. But since I shrunk it, you know, that's how that happened. So that, that's basically what that does. But I like to go ahead and leave auto scale on because you know what? It's just nicer for me. Um, I, I kind of agree with LVUI that they know, they know what my good settings are. It just takes me a little bit of time to get them all in place so that just everything goes right back to normal. Uh, the next up is panel width and panel height. Um, so what's going to happen is this with these two is width and height is going to change these two chat bars right here and here 
and what it's going to do is it's going to constrain the uh, the text. You'll see it shrinking there on the left. And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You can actually have them overlap if you wanted to, but that's a bad idea because why would we want that to overlap? Let's go ahead and leave that at uh, 425, and then the panel height we can adjust that as well. Now I'm just going to go ahead and leave that at the 180 that it was at. Ooh, it doesn't want to go to 180, so what I'm going to do is just type here and hit 180, hit enter, and it just squirts down. Uh, next up is the panel backdrop. Right now we're showing both, which means you can sort of see the black behind here. Now I can go ahead and turn that off, and you'll notice that the text is still here. We can still chat, uh, so that's still there, but uh, the background's gone. And you can show just the left, you can show just the right, and we're gonna, of course, we wanna leave it on show both, uh, just because they look really nice. Uh, you can also set up your own pa uh, panel texture, which will just sort of create a little texture for the background there. It's a nice little something extra to bring in uh, if you want to have like a Lich King logo or something like that. It does have to be a TGA file format, but uh, yeah, I'm not getting into that. <laughs> Uh, the next bit here is the media. Um, if you're changing the scale, this will be something you'll want to play with because you can change the font size of pretty much everything on here to insane proportions. But we're going to leave that at 12 because that's where it's comfortable. Uh, you can also change the default font. So if you wanted it to be Arial Narrow, uh, Morpheus, which some people like, and uh, you know, pretty much whatever you want. Uh, I just sort of leave it as the standard font. Uh, the combat font is when you're attacking things, uh, there's a floating text that sort of shows up, and this is the font for that. Next up is a status bar texture. Um, I'm going to show this to you slightly differently because you can't see it, but there is a texture right here and over these buttons. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the border color, which is the next section, because colors. I'm just going to add some red to them. I'm sorry, that's not the right one. We're going to change the backdrop color. <laughs> we saw what border colors did, so that's useful. We're going to change the backdrop color, and that'll change all of these. And you can see all of these have a little texture bar. So we're just going to head and change that to the blizzard bar. And hit accept. There you go, it's a slightly different bar. You can also change the glossy bars, which actually I think that's what these might have been. Um, and you know, you, you can just pick with how, you, how you want it to look, how, what display you want. It's very, very fluid. Uh, it's a great little system they have here. Uh, now you can also change these backdrop colors. Uh, the default is this black. We're just gonna bring it up just a little bit because this is a little bit crazy when I have fun with that. And there's also the value colors, which is mostly these bars right here. You'll see that here real quick. So that's what those are. It's also the uh, data text down here. Pretty much anything that is that color will be affected by this. But we're going to restore the defaults because you know what? That's what looks good. <laughs> um, this is actually a pretty fun feature. I use it a lot on my uh, uh, themed characters. My palette and everything is uh, white and gold. My uh, shadow priest, it's all purple. Uh, it's a very fun thing to do. Um, so that was pretty much it for this last episode. We're going to go back to the credits here and thank Tux, Haste, Nightcracker, Omega1970, and Hydrazine, as well as the testing and the donors who keep LVI alive. Once again, this is Joram, signing off. <laughs>